We've been hearing about Afrobeats to the world. Music has become a major export for Nigeria and Africa in recent times. However, people forget the role of producers, DJs, and the fun they bring to events, parties, and our lives generally. And so I'll be having a brief conversation with VDJ Bobby. Good morning and welcome Good to morning, the Good morning, Andy. Thank show. you for having me. Now, um, what made you get into being a DJ? And do you just focus on weddings? Or what's your area? Thank you very much. Um, my journey into DJing started out of hunger. Yeah, so there was the urge to uh, find a second hustle that doesn't push me out of my previous job. But eventually, I found out that it was my thing. Like, I enjoyed watching people you know, be happy, you know, enjoy their song being played, you know, have fun generally, it gave me joy. And then it puts food on my table. So I was like, why not? You know, there's that part. And then there's the part where I also came to discover that I was playing a big role in a scheme of things. You know, um, Afrobeats in general, the journey which we've seen so far can be said to be, to have started from on the back of DJs because were it not for DJs abroad who took, like we have cases of DJs that come to Nigeria, take songs on CDs and travel abroad to play them so that those in, in abroad, that's before the advent of MP3, could hear them, we would not have had this um, Afrobeat explosion. So yes, I wanted to be a part of that journey and that is why I became a DJ. And to your second question, um, I am basically a wedding DJ. So what I do is I, I'm mostly into events, um, weddings, wedding after parties, I also do other um, things, but basically I'm a wedding DJ, yes. So interestingly, I've noticed that um, producers and DJs now make their own music. So DJ Neptunes, DJ Spin All, they now create their own projects, um, collaborations. DJ Khaled, I yes. mean. And um, I also understand that you have a single coming out. Yes, I, um, I do. Tell us about that. Um, it's called Fan Fama. It's uh, Zulu for a week. It's Amapiano. I mean, Amapiano is a new rave and it's African. It's, it embodies everything, you know. The, you know, from way back, Africa has more, the com communication in Africa has mostly been about non-verbal communication, sound, you know, uh, smoke communication, communication through smoke, through the drums, you know. I think we're going back to that point where music is being enjoyed without words being said. You know, people come, they party, they just hear the sound. And forgive me if I, if I do have to say this, but I mean, the most of the um, Afrobeat songs that we have popular is being carried on the back of the beautiful sounds that we hear being done by the DJs and the producers. So yes, I think it's about time so the DJs, you know, take, take the place and, you know, start putting songs out. So when well. is this song out and where can people find you? So it will be out on all digital platforms tomorrow. That's um, when it drops. And um, you should be able to have it on Apple, Spotify, you know, just stream and enjoy. VDJ Moby, congrats and all the best in Thank your you very much. And it's been a pleasure having you Thank you for having on me. the weekend. And Thank this you. will now segue into our poetic interlude with Emeka Zorumba. Hello, Emeka.